So, you know, everybody get their pen pad, Bibles, highlighters, and we'll get started. Um, first off, I want to uh, give all praise and glory to the Most High God, Yahweh, in the name of His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shah, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. We're going to go over uh, laws and commandments are forever. Um... All right. Anybody want to read tonight? Volunteers? No volunteers? I read. Hold on. No, I'll read. Okay, come on. All right, help read. I don't care. I don't care. Hold on. Okay, can you give me the title one more time? Excuse me? Can you give me the title one more time? What's the title? Uh, Laws and Commandments are Forever. The Laws and Commandments are Forever. The first, the first, uh, Book we're going to get into tonight. Everybody know this verse. We'll go to Ecclesiasticus. Ecclesiastes, so, so like Ecclesiastes uh, 12 and 13. Are y'all going over a book, Mr. Kelly? Excuse me? Y'all reading a book? Uh, we're about to go over the laws and the commandments are forever. That's tonight's topic. Okay. What's your, uh, what scripture? Uh, Ecclesiastes 12 and 13. Okay. Uh, okay, I'm sorry, excuse me, one more time, y'all. Say it again? It's Ecclesiastes. Ecclesiastics 12 and 13. God. It's right after Proverbs. That's right. All right. All right. You got that for me out? Con, Ecclesiastes 12 and 13. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear God and keep his commandments. For this is the whole duty of man. Fine. The Bible tells us, let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Right? So everything that we wonder about, why we've been put on this earth, what we were put here for, right, what was the mission that we were supposed to accomplish, it tells us right here. It says the whole matter, right? It says fear God, right, and keep his commandments. For this is the whole duty, right? Duty, the duty is a job. Right. Right? It says, for this is the whole duty, the whole job of man. All right? For we are supposed to keep these laws, statutes, and the commandments, and to fear God. Okay? Now, let's go to Psalms. We'll go to Psalms 119 and verse 160. Psalms. 119, verse 160. Con, the book of Psalms, chapter 119, 160. Thou word is true from the beginning, and every one of thy righteous, righteous judgment endureth forever. Con, thy word is true. Okay? The words that we read out of this Bible, they're true. Okay? From the beginning. Alright? And it says, In every one of thy righteous judgments endure forever. Right? Now, 
we understand when the scriptures say, come on, I'm not even going to say that. Let's go to uh, 147, 19 and 20, because it says, every one of thy righteous judgments endureth forever. Right? God. Keep that in mind. Every one of thy righteous judgments endureth forever. Let me get Psalms 147, 19 and 20. Calm, book of the Psalms 147, verse 19. He showeth his word unto Jacob, his statutes and his judgments unto Israel. His what? His statutes and his judgments unto Israel. Calm. We just read that his word and his judgment endureth forever. Read that again. He Go ahead, Art. Go ahead. Sorry, sorry if I said, um, that was my mom calling me again. Sorry about that. Help. Where did you leave off at? Let's just start back up, uh, uh, Psalms 147 at the top, 19. Hmm. The book of Psalms 147, verse 19. He showeth his word unto Jacob, his statutes and his judgments unto Israel. He hath not dealt so with any nation, and as for his judgments, they have not known them. Praise you, as for, time. as for his judgments, they have not known them. Every one of thy righteous judgments endures forever. So according to Psalms 147, 19, and 20, the law, statutes, and commandments were given to Israel, and the judgment were given to Israel, right? <laughs> Right. And it says that his judgment endured forever. Right? Now, can I get um second Ezra chapter nine and verse thirty seven. Second Ezra, this is an apocrypha. Oh, I ain't got the apocrypha. Con con con. Second Ezra chapter nine Verse 37. Con, Second Ezra 9, 37. Notwithstanding, the law per perish perisheth not. Read that again. Not so, notwithstanding, the law perisheth not. The scripture says that notwithstanding, the law perisheth not. The law don't go away, okay? It don't perish, okay? Right? Um, Read on. But redeemeth in his force. But remaineth. Read that again. <laughs> but remaineth in his force. So it doesn't go anywhere. It stays in his force. When God told us, thou shalt not steal, that was the force that remained to this day. When God said, thou shalt honor thy father and mother, that is the force that remains to this day. The Lord God told us not to eat pork, right? That's that right. remains to this day. That's right. The scripture says, notwithstanding the law perish not. The law don't perish. Okay? Come on. Let's get a precept on that. Let's get Matthew 5 and 17. Matthew 5, verse 17. I'll read it. Okay. This is on Matthew chapter 5, verse 17. Think not that I am come to, think not that I am come to destroy the law. Right. Or the, he, said, he said, think not. Think not. Okay? Meaning, don't think that I come to destroy the law. Okay? Read it again. Matthew chapter 5, verse 17. Think not that I am come to destroy the law. When he Read said, or the, or, the prop, or, or the prophets, I am not come to destroy, but to fulfill. Fine. He didn't come to destroy the law. He came to fulfill the law. Right? 
right? Okay, read on. Verse 18. For godly I say unto you, till, till heaven and the earth pass, one job or one title shall shall in no wise pass from the law to all be fulfilled. So it says, For verily I say unto you, so heaven and earth pass. Has heaven and earth pass. Blah. Has heaven, heaven and earth pass. Are we still on earth? Still. Are we still on earth? And is the heaven still above us? Yes. So the Bible says, For verily I say unto you, So heaven and earth pass, one jot or one tittle shall in no wise pass from the law till all be fulfilled. So the heaven and earth haven't passed, so it hasn't been fulfilled yet. <coughs> so the law is not been away with. Because we can still see the earth and we know the heavens are still above us. Right? Read verse 19. Verse 19. Whosoever therefore shall break one of these least commandments and shall teach man so he shall be called the least in the kingdom of heaven. That's right. So if you, if you are here telling people that the law is done away with, you ain't got to keep the law anymore, the Bible says, whosoever therefore shall break one of the least commandments and teach men so, he shall be called the least in the kingdom of heaven. Right? Read on. Okay. But whosoever shall do and teach them, the same shall be called great in the kingdom of heaven. So the Bible says, but who, but whosoever shall teach them, the same shall be called, when it says, whosoever shall teach them, meaning the law, the same shall be called great in the kingdom of heaven. So as far as Jacob, we teach brothers to keep the law. That's, so that's what we do. Why? Because the scriptures tell us that the, the same shall be called great in the kingdom of heaven. So we tell our brothers to come back to these laws because we want to be great in the kingdom. Okay. Not for our own pleasures, but the most high told us. And this is red letter right here. This is how she actually have a shower speaking. Okay? I got I got pretty sure for that. Big note? Also, uh, I got a question. Hey, did you bring out Psalms 119, 142? Uh, not yet, no. I didn't. All right. Uh, then I got two precepts. Huh, bring it up. Um, the book of Psalms, chapter 119, and verse 142. Psalms chapter 119 verse 142 okay. and, um, and this is precept to uh, Psalms 147 19 uh, wow. it says thy righteousness is an everlasting righteousness mm -hmm. and thy law is the truth That's true. beautiful precept uh, 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 make sure you precept that with Deuteronomy 6 and 5 25 right because it says thy righteousness is an everlasting righteousness. That's a beautiful precept. Uh, uh, Matter of fact, I just scored Deuteronomy. You got Deuteronomy already? Uh, Deuteronomy, what, 28.9? No, I got it right here. Hold on. Let me okay. just pull your other precept real quick. Uh, Deuteronomy, chapter 6, verse 25. Um, a lot of this um, Psalm 119, verse 142, and it says, Thy righteousness is an everlasting righteousness. Everlasting means forever, right? That's right. Uh, so let's go to Deuteronomy chapter 6, verse 25, and it reads, And it shall be our righteousness if we observe to do all these commandments before the Lord our God, as he commanded us. Read that again. And it shall be our righteousness if we observe to do all these commandments. So righteousness is the commandments. And Psalms 119, 
19, verse 132, where the writer just put it, it says, Thy righteousness, thy commandments, is an everlasting commandment. Thy law is the truth. Now, let me jump down, let me jump down to uh, 144 real quick. Is that what the next one you're going to pull? Uh... No, nah, I got it. No, that's okay, because I already had it in my notes. I'll just put that one. I'll just put it right now anyway. Uh, but I, 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 got it. I got a couple of uh, songs, 119, though. Oh, you can. <laughs> you found it there. Hey, I told, I told y'all, man, 119, uh, you can you can stay in 119 all day, and the Christian will get mad at you. Oh, because yeah. all he's talking about is the law, statutes, and the commandments. That's right. Um. Let's, let's go back. Uh, let's go. Psalms 119, verse 144. It says, Thy righteousness of thy testimonies is everlasting. Give me understanding, and I shall live. So it says, thy, The commandments of thy testimonies is everlasting. And we just read that the, uh, the, the righteousness is everlasting in 42. And remember that the righteousness is the law that you in the commandments according to Deuteronomy 6 and 25. <laughs> so that's beautiful. Uh, second Ezra 937 say it perishes not. So that means it's everlasting. Time, time. Uh, let me bring these out. This is uh, Psalms 119 and uh, 126. What well, you brought out in Matthew 517, you can precept this with that. Uh, you said 126? Uh, Psalms 119 and 126. Five. And that's a precept to Matthew 5 and 17. And it says, It is time for thee, Lord, to work, for they have made void thy law. Therefore, I love thy commandments above gold. Yeah, above fine gold. Therefore, I esteem all thy precepts concerning all the things to be right, and I hate every false way. That's right. And uh, verse 130, 136 in the same chapter. Yeah. Uh, well, let me start from 134. I'm going to read 134 through 136. Psalms 119, 134 through 136. And it says, Deliver me from the oppression of man, so will I keep thy precepts. Which we know the precepts are the law, the commandments. Wow. Verse 135 says, Make thy face to shine upon thy servant and teach me thy statutes. Verse 136 says, Rivers of waters run down mine eyes because they kept not thy law. Read that again. It says, uh, The rivers of waters run down my eyes because they kept not thy law. What does that mean? What does that mean? This man, uh, David is sad. He's very sad because his, um, his rulers over him, um, they're not keeping the law. They're not keeping those precepts. And wow. he's crying because he understands what those precepts mean to him. You know, right. he's, un he's under oppression. When you're not under the Most High's law, like in Deuteronomy 28, 14,
Beautiful out, beautiful out. Uh, we read the last verse we read was Matthew 5 and 17, right? 19, correct? All right. And um, a writer just pointed out to you, I hope y'all got those precepts, that not only is um, righteousness the law, but the precepts is the law too, right? Uh, if anybody can look up the definition for precept while I'm pulling out these other verses real quick, and um, we'll bring that out too just to make sure uh, we get the edification of precepts of the law. Um, the next verse we're going to get is Baruch chapter 4, verse 1. That's uh, right, you know that. I'm going to get uh, Proverbs chapter 6, verse 23. Let me get it. Let me read it. Proverbs chapter 6, verse 23. Go ahead, uh, go ahead, this, Dante. Go ahead, Zion. Uh, go ahead, uh. this, this is the book of Proverbs. This is the book of Proverbs chapter 6, verse 23. For the commandments is a, is a lamp, and the law is light, and reproof of instruction, or the way of, of the life. Right. So the commandments, like for the commandments is a lamp, right? Right. And the law is a light, okay? Right. Which will help you see, right? right. Because the only thing light does is help you see, oh. okay? Um, it says, for the commandment is a lamp, and the law is a light, and with proof of instructions are the way of life. So the, the commandments and the laws are, like, the, are the instructions of the way of life. I uh, like you. Um, um, Hezekiah, when they say for the, for the commandments is a is a lamb, what is that talking about? I know what it is. Right. The map, the map is basically just a light too. Right. 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 What is a lamp? When you look at a lamp, what is it? It's a light, like when you turn it on. There you go. There uh, you go. Uh, so the commandment is a lamp. It'll help you see, too. Uh, that's a uh, precept in Matthew, what you just read out of, Matthew 5 and 14. Pick it out. Uh, Matthew, for that light, Matthew chapter 5 and verse 14, it says, Ye are the light of the world. A city that is set on a hill cannot be hid. Neither do men light a candle and put it under a bushel, but on a candlestick, and it giveth light unto all that are in the house. Verse 16, which is going to confirm what, what, what we're talking about, that those commandments, following after the uh, the law is that light. So Matthew 5 and 16, it says, Let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works. Now, your good works, what are your good works? Honoring it, keeping those laws, not eating That's pork. Right. Um, That's right. Uh, keeping the Sabbath. Right. 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 Keeping the beard on your face. That's Loving right. Loving your brother. That's you right. Know and go first. That's going to help people see. Time. Time. And I got a precept perfectly for that that actually go exactly with that. Time. Look at this, right? This is, this is Psalms 119. We back at 119 again. Uh oh. Psalms 119, verse 105. It says, Thy word is a lamp unto thy feet. Time. Right? So it says, uh, uh, the way you. What do you do with your feet? You walk. Right. Right? It says, yes. thy, thy word is a lamp into thy feet, the way you walk. Okay? And it says, then, then, and a light unto my path. So, it's a way that you walk down the path. This, this word is a, is a, is a guidance. It's instructions on how you shall walk down a path. That's right. A righteous path. Okay? So, so I, I got that uh, that uh, def definition for you. Bring that up. Uh, uh, precept: a general rule intended 
to regulate behavior or thought. Nice. So it's a rule. We get it again? A general rule intended to regulate behavior or thought. So an intended rule to regulate behavior or thought. Let me give you an intended rule to regulate behavior. You like, shouldn't touch like. your brother. You shouldn't want nothing he wants. That's right. He got it. That's right. You, you shouldn't an intended rule on your behavior. You shouldn't you shouldn't commit adultery. Right? Uh, you shouldn't be right. bearing false witness. You shouldn't be lying on people. That's right. Okay, right. this is an intended rule, right? We did it again. A general rule intend, intended to regulate behavior or thought. So these commandments regulate our behaviors and our thoughts. That's right. And that's a precept. That's what a precept is. A precept is a law. It's a rule. It's a commandment. Yep. Uh, as a, as a uh, um, synonym, it's a, it's a command or order, a decree, uh, principle. Or command or order of the decree. Right. Like what you get decrees from the king. Ah, uh, that's right. Right? That's right. So right these, yeah. uh, these are the ways that we have to walk down the path through the commandments. It ain't no other way. It ain't no other way to read that again, the, the definition. A general rule intended to regulate behavior or thought. It ain't no other way to regulate your behaviors and thought but the commandments. Uh. I got to show me something that can correct you more than the commandments. That's right. Yeah, I got uh, the Hebrew Strong for that. Con. You know? It's uh, Hebrew, Hebrew uh, H 6490. H 6490, uh, this precept, right? Con, for, uh, for a precept. Con. And I got it from Psalms 119, verse 128. Um pronunciation tikkun tikkun and it's uh, from Strong's H 6485 properly appointed that is a mandate of God mm -hmm. plural only collectively for the law i.e. commandment i.e. precept i.e. statute Hi. Hey, so lucky. Hi. This is your shower. I'm still in the uh, middle of something here. If you got my uh, message, I'm still in the middle of what I was doing. But I'm listening. I'm menacing at the same time. All right, do to us the singing. All right, I got a precept real quick. It says, uh, this is Psalm 7 and 2. It says, keep, uh, keep my commandments and live in my law as the apple of thine eye. Right? Uh, well, sometimes you hear a woman say, uh, my son, eat an apple of my eye, or, you know, meaning that, you know, it's a steady image or your favorite. You see what I'm saying? Uh -huh. So the commandments, he says, my commandment, my law, an apple of thy eye. Okay, so let's get back to the uh, the lesson real quick. We had um, we was at a Psalm, a Proverbs six and twenty three, right? Uh, uh, the next verse. That's right. Yeah. What you think? Yeah. Uh, it's like here. Yeah. Um, I had another precept in Psalms one nineteen for where uh, when you first brought out that. Uh, in the second Ezra, where the law perishes not, uh, Psalms 119 and 160. Uh, it says, Thy word is true from the beginning, and every one of thy righteous judgments.
want people to remember them and keep doing them. But you gotta go get it. But you gotta go get it. You hear what he's saying? It don't come to you. You gotta go get it. Hey, what what right. was that? What what book and chapter was that? So like you. Real Proverbs, Proverbs chapter four, one through five. Four, one through five. Oh. Oh, he said, "Bro, I, he said, get it." I, like to me, that's like, don't sit on your ass and wait for it. Like you know what I'm saying? You know he said, like, nah, the door should be open. <clears throat> he should find. Uh. Right. Remember he said. Study to show thyself approved right. unto God. Right. The way you study yourself approved unto God, you gotta verse five. Get wisdom and get understanding. Forget it not. Neither decline from the words of thy mouth. So when he told you to study, he would he, he wanted you to stay salivated and focused because he got everything there for you already. You got to I want to say you just have to find it. Right. It's, you know, you put it, you know, you laid it out for us. Yep. You just have to find it. Okay? Now, I'm going to show you right now. I want you to go back up to verse 3 and read that again. Because okay. Proverbs is in the Old Testament. Would you agree? Uh, all right. And I'm going to show you that when he said, For I was my father's son, tender and only, only beloved in the sight of my mother. I'm going to show you that this is in the New Testament, and the laws ain't done away with. I'm going to show you that this verse is in the New Testament, and the laws is not done away with. Because he says, only the love in the sight of, of my mother. Why did he say that? I'm going to show you why. Let's go to Ephesians chapter 6, verse 1 and 2. Ephesians chapter 6, verse 1 and 2. Hey, can I precept this uh, Proverbs 4 and 5 real quick? Can I bring it up? Okay, Proverbs 4 and 5 says, Get wisdom, get understanding, forget it not, neither decline from the words of my mouth. Okay, now I want to go to Ecclesiasticus, also known as Sirach. Yeah.
turn to Ephesians chapter 6. Salaki, Salaki. Okay. So he says, uh, think, not that I, uh, think not that I come to destroy the law, nor the prophets. We come not to destroy, but to fulfill. Okay? So that's why we can still read in the New Testament that, um, that the law, when he says in Ephesians, honor thy father and thy mother, which is the first commandment. Let's promise, we can read that commandment in the Old Testament, right? Right. So that's one battle for the Christians to prove, hey, the law ain't done away with yet. But we got multiple, though. We got multiple to the Bible to show that the law ain't done away with. That's, what, that's, the, that's, the, that's the subject matter tonight. The laws and the commandments are forever. Huh. Okay? So we still see the laws in the New Testament. I want to bring one verse, and I didn't put this in my notes. I want to bring one verse out to even uh, substantiate, substantiate that even more. And it says, um, this is uh, 1 John chapter 2, verse 6. It says, Here, he that saith, uh, uh, he that, he that saith he abides in him, ought also himself to walk even as he walked. Verse 7. Hey, you should. What? Flocky, I was going to say, you should start at 3. I have no sign of three, but I just want to get straight to the point real quick. Let me go up. I read it. It says, uh, and whereby we do know that we know him, if we keep his commandments, but for he that says I know him and keepeth not his commandments is a liar, and the truth is not in him. Verse 5. But whosoever keepeth his word, in him verily is the love of God perfected. Everybody right. know we that we are in him. Verse 6. He that said he abided in him uh, himself also so for also to walk even as he walked. Verse 7. Brother, brethren, I write no new commandment unto you, but an right. old commandment which he had from the beginning. The uh. old commandment is the word which he had heard from the beginning. Mm. Okay? Now, the scriptures tell us that we shall walk 
and his commandments. Okay? And abide and walk also as he walked. And then it tells us that he didn't write a new commandment to us. He was bringing out the commandments that he had from the beginning. And he was taught. Yeah. That's pretty okay. simple. You 517. Can I bring it up? Yeah, that's the one uh, Double R brought out earlier because, like you said, he write no new commandment. Uh, when he said, I, I, I write no new commandment, but the uh, same commandment that you had from the beginning. Um, right. Hold on here. First John 2 and let's see, where were you at? Where did you get off at? 7. Brethren, it said, Brethren, I write no new commandment unto you, but an old commandment which ye have from the beginning. The old commandment is the word which ye have which ye have heard from the beginning. And then uh, remember in Matthew chapter five, where Yahushai even said, uh, Matthew five and seventeen, where he said, Think not that I've come to destroy the law nor the or the prophets. The prophets will be for him. God. He said, I am not come to destroy but to fulfill. God. And you know what I'm saying? So you can precept those two together, first John two and seven. Uh time, first John two and seven and Matthew five seventeen. Watch this. I'm gonna show you I like it. I'm gonna show you where, why he said that remember he says uh about uh, I write nothing from memory, right? I write back right from the beginning. I'm gonna show you that he got he he was um he knew that the prophets had the law before him, right? I'm going to show you uh, one of the prophets actually mentioning, mentioning this. Uh, you can go to, come on here. You can go to Isaiah chapter 2, verse 5, and read that for me real quick. Isaiah chapter 2, verse 5. The book of Isaiah chapter 2 and verse 5. O oh, house of Jacob, come ye and let us walk in the light of the Lord. Huh? Where's the light? Where's the light? Is the law, is the commandments, the precepts. God, we read that in Proverbs 6 and 23. The huh? law is a light. Right? Read that again, my wife. O oh, house of Jacob, come ye and let us walk in the light of the Lord. God, let us walk in the commandments of the Lord. Let us walk in the laws of the Lord. Let us walk in the precepts of the Lord. Let us walk in righteousness of the Lord. Huh? That's right. Now, let's grab, um, let's grab, let's grab Psalms, we got the Psalms 119 again, huh? Uh -oh. We're going to start, we're going to start at 165. And read to 168. Hey, Double Y, you want to grab that? What, what book you said? Psalms 119, 165 to 168. Psalms 119, 165 to 168. Hey, Salaki, I'm going to call right back in. I'm just realizing my brother and his home. I'll call back. Uh, you want me to get it? I'm right here. This, this is the book of Psalms 119, verse 165. Great, great peace have they which love the law. Read that again. Great peace. Have they which love the law? Great peace have they which love the law. Okay? If, if, if we wouldn't be following these laws right now, y'all, we'd be just some destroyed Negroes. A lot of us probably be locked up right now. Um, probably. It, probably. Okay, a lot of us are probably being stabbed up, or the police will shot you up, or it doesn't matter. You wouldn't be at peace right now. Even though, even though we know we live in hell. Right. We're still living in peace because we understand what's going on. We're not we're not blinded. We're not in the dark about this world any longer. 
Okay? So we good again? Great team. John, what proverb was that? Proverbs 119. No, Psalm, Psalm 119. 1916. 119, verse 165. Read it again, W.Y. The book of Psalms 119, verse 165. Great thieves have they which love the law, and nothing shall in them. That's right. Read on. Verse one sixty six. Lord, I have hope for the salvation, and done the and done the commandments and, and done the commandments. Read on. Read the verse sixty seven. One sixty seven. Verse one sixty eight. Verse one sixty eight. I have no, killed. No, read, read the verse. Read from um, 165 to 68. Oh, okay. Verse 167. My soul have kept the testimonies, and I and I love them exceedingly. exceedingly. Verse, one, verse 168. I have kept the precepts and the testimonies. Testimonies for all my ways or before thee. Verse 168. Mm. You got, uh, read uh, verse 168 one more time. Verse 168. I have kept thou that, that, um, precepts and thou testimonies. For all my ways or before thee. Time, time. Okay, I'm not sure. Okay, bring it out. Alright, check this out. This is uh where he said he have kept uh twice. Uh where he said he, he has kept precepts and the testimonies for all the ways before thee, right? Ah. And uh, Psalms 119, 168. Also, even in the verse 167. Um, you know, so what I want to do is go to Proverbs chapter 3. And then uh, I'll go ahead and go uh, Proverbs chapter 3, verse 1 through 3. Well, I'll go through 5. Proverbs chapter 3, verse 1 through 5. Sure. Um, because, again, what you was bringing out, too, about this being an everlasting commandment. Like, we are to continually keep the commandments forever, right? God. So, I start reading Proverbs chapter 3, verse 1. It says, my son, forget not my law. Because, like, what Brown Tate was just reading, Double I was just reading in Psalms 119, 165 to 168. Keep thy precepts. Keep thy testimony. Don't do the commandments. So, again, here he's saying in Proverbs my son, forget not my law, but let thine heart keep my commandments for the length of days and long life and peace. We just went over the, that whoever keeps these commandments, we living in peace, right? Son. The Most High telling you, and peace shall they add to thee. Mm. And then verse 3 says, let not mercy and truth forsake thee. Find them about thy neck. That's when we go and search. We go, we're supposed to go and get wisdom. Mm -hmm. and we're supposed to forget about it. So let not mercy and truth forsake thee. 
bind them about thy neck, write them upon the table of thine heart, so that we will not forget it, right? Right. Verse 4 says, so that so shalt thou find favor and good understanding in the sight of God and men. Verse 5 says, trust in the Lord with all thy heart, which we know the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom, right? Right. And then it says, and lean not into thy own understanding. That's right. Verse 6, and all thy ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct thy paths. That's that right. light. That's that light to our feet. That's right, man. That's our paths. That's right. Be not wise in thine own eyes. Fear the Lord and depart from evil. So again, Fear the Lord. Uh, right. And depart, and depart from, from, from evil. Uh, That's beautiful. Uh, God. So when you fear the Lord, and I was bringing out um, this to um, your Maya a while back. When you fear the Lord, you will respect him. That's what it means. You have a deep respect for the Most High God. You're going to respect what he said because you, you, you don't want to have that judgment come upon you. Right. Okay, you don't want to be punished. Just like your mom told you not to go outside. She said, hey, you, you go outside, I'm going to whoop your ass. Right? Be in before and they you, start come on. <laughs> and, you, and if you broke that, if you broke that commandment she gave you, she punished you. Right. Now, you wouldn't, you wouldn't, it was out of respect of your mama that you you listened to her. Right? Because she, it may have been, like I always say, it may have been a shooting on the block that day. And your mama was coming home from work and she saw all the knuckleheads outside in the corner. She saw her packing guns. Right. And she told you, don't go out this damn house. Right? So it's out of respect for your mother, a deep respect for your mother that you fear the consequences if you break what she said to do. Uh, Just like the Most High. He said, keep those laws, statutes, and commandments. Fear God and keep his commandments. But it's the whole duty of man. Hey, watch, watch what he do to you when he, when he find out that you're breaking his law. He's going to break your neck. You're going to be punished. Okay? Uh, so let's, um, I wanted the precept. I thought I wrote it down. Um, the precept is, I'm paraphrasing, um, I keep thy precepts better than the ancients. Oh, you know that's a proverb. If it's, if it's not a proverb, it's probably going to be in a, <laughs> Psalms 19. 119. 119. God. I'm not sure. I thought it was, though, but I thought I wrote it down. It sounds like a, uh, it sounds like an Old Testament. It could be a Psalm or a proverb. Uh, yeah, it's one of those. It's definitely Psalms or Proverbs, I think. It's, it's Psalms 119, 100. Yep. There we go. Sounds about right. I knew it was 119 somewhere. Right, right. Um, 119, yeah. go hard, man. There we go. Uh, it says, I understand. Let me go up a little bit. Ooh. Let me start at verse, let me start at, um, 98. verse 97. Yeah, 97. Yeah. It please. says, oh, how love I thy law. It is my meditation all the day. Verse, uh, verse uh, 98. Thou through thy commandments has made me wiser than my enemies. Now, we were just talking about being at peace, right? That's right. You know why we're at peace? Because we understand what's going on now. We understand what the enemy has done to us, and now they cannot capitalize on the Israelites no more. Because we understand the uh, our crafty counsel that they did.